Alright. Let us continue through our trek through the netherworld. If you're just joining us, we uh, went to see Odin, find out how to get to netherworld, because Oswald got uh, taken there by evil ghost guy. So, we need to uh, we need to save our husband, though, man. Because we're, we're a good waifu, man. Top waifu. Top tier fucking waifu. Alright, so. Let's go through here. Uh, if I remember correctly, I don't think the bosses are anything to worry about here. One of the bosses is like the, uh, the uh, death guy that we saw with Oswald. And then, uh, I forget the other guy. I think it's like a tentacle monster guy. Alright. Alright, he's dead. Nice wave. Alright. Still one guy down there. Sorry, he'll pop up over here. That should be it. Sun pendant. Let's see, sun pendant we will equip and get rid of the star pendant we'll be using since the beginning of the game. Also we can get rid of the luck pen uh, luck stone and put on the speed ball. <laughs> Kill some more defense. Alright, let's see, let's see. Go over there for skill. We need to go up top for that sunstone. We know we got this checkpoint. Let's go back. Let me go back. Get this uh the sunstone. Alright. Oh, boss time. Oh, it's tentacle guy first. Alright, so this is a tentacle guy. He uh, usually has uh, some objects, various objects floating around him. Let's see, what do we want to use? Alright, so this is pretty much the best use of Blizzard, is you keep pushing him, use Blizzard in combination with Cyclone, and you just keep pushing the guy into your Cyclone, and you do like silly damage, like I'll try and do it again, I don't have any Fozons, I do have a Restore though. Uh, let's start up Blizzard. And then, you know what, let's make another one. Uh, anyway. Uh. Alright. Hit him. Let's use our dash attack. Push him. Keep him in there. Cyclone again. It's frozen, I mean, you can't really do a whole lot here. Uh, you can't really do this to too many enemies. I mean, I wish you could, but... Um, I think we can... I don't even know if we can do it to the boss of this area, because I don't think I can freeze her. Alright, so he finally gets out. Uh, he's got some tentacles here, like, blow these up. And see, he just summons more, like, random, random objects. You can hit the objects, break them, because if you don't, though, he just 
throw him at you. He's got that attack where he reaches in his stomach and grabs some tentacles and shoots him at you. He's got another one where he like throws on the ground. Then like periodically he'll summon those tentacle ads in the uh, behind me there to just be annoying. Alright, see when he does like that finger point, he's gonna send all his objects at you. To try and uh try and hit you, but I mean as long as you're like hitting him, you should uh kill all his tentacles before they they can do anything. He's almost dead anyway. I took a little bit of damage there, but I mean that's fine. Alright, cool. So Yeah, that uh Blizzard uh Blizzard Cyclone combo is uh pretty pretty dirty. Pretty dirty. Especially considering like how long they stay frozen. And you know, if you have a higher level uh cyclone spell, it stays out for longer. And does more damage, so uh, you can really rack up some damage. The only thing though is that you know you get blizzard so late, you can't really do a whole lot with it. So uh oh, this is a battle stage. I was like, is that it? Let's see. Still got these shines. I'm sure I'll get the opportunity to use them later. Alright, so you got some yogurt. Put this yogurt up. Oh my god, really? You knocked me out? Fuck you, carrot. Right. Just, just checking. Just checking. You just gotta be checking, man. I think I do remember where the, the secret skill is on this one. Alright, battle stage. Kill these others. Skeleton guys. Alright. Oh, he's blocking. Oh, okay, he got a crit, so he stopped his block. That's another thing, too. If he's blocking and you get, like, uh, those critical hits, then it just stops. It stops his block or breaks his guard or whatever. So. That's cool. I mean, it doesn't happen like too often. I mean, what are the odds you get the crit while the guy's blocking the sun? Kill these tentacles. I don't know why they have like these like tentacle things like here. Like you would think they would be like in like that regular forest where we went to like chapter two. You know, with like the bears and stuff. You would think they would be there with like the frogs and the bears and whatever, but. Alright, so we got Gungnir, her like super attack, I guess you could call it. I guess, I guess that's what, that's what we'll call it. Super attack. It uses a uh, 50 uh, MP, or PP, I almost said MP. 50 PP. Does a, a, a good amount of damage. But, uh,. I don't know, I feel like for, uh, for the amount of PP it uses, I mean, I can get almost two blizzards off, and it's just like, eh. You know, blizzard, and then I thought like a cyclone, and do some stuff, and I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know how worth that is, man. Alright, so we got all that stuff. So it looks like, you know, we've hit everywhere we need to go. But we have some locked doors that we need to take care of. Is there a. Actually, walked right past you and didn't get this area map. Get this map though, man. Thanks, fella. Get this map. Herb roasted shrimp. And area map. Alright, cool. So we can see what we got here. Yeah, so we got another skill over here. Um, we got some chests down here, we got a key, got a moonstone, and the boss is right there, so we'll take care of that later. I'm not gonna worry about eating right now. Uh, let's go here and unlock this door. Put the sun piece in. Door turn. Oddly enough, if you like put the, the sun piece in there. And just like walk away to like scroll it off screen, the door like stops opening. And I'm just like, why? 
And so there's a chest here. Is this the room with the uh, with the secret skill? I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure it's in one of these like dark rooms. This is not this one, must be another one. Alright, more skeleton guys. We know how this goes by now. There's like one, at least one more enemy here. The, uh, the lady skeletons, or lady zombies, or whatever. We haven't seen them yet. Alright, and get another alchemy thing. Yep, alchemy mix juggle. The juggler. Alright, so here's the other door. As you can see, there. It's missing, it has the sun piece, but it's missing the moon piece this time. So we gotta go and, uh, get that there moon piece. Let's go in here. Mid boss is the demon guy. Alright, so this guy can be uh, a, little, a little annoying. So really for most of his attacks you have to look at where he places the uh, the zombie guys. So like if he summons the zombie guys like in a straight line in front, then it means he's gonna do an attack that comes from the straight line. Now that move where like he shakes his hand and it's all jittery, and he summons like this big like white thing, I don't know what that is, that comes out and hits you. If he summons like a bunch of zombie guys in a circle, then he's gonna do like a uh, you know, an AOE slash to hit around them. Right, you see his arms like jittering, so oh, I stopped him. He's gonna shoot another one of those uh, big white things out. I'm gonna hit him with a blizzard. And. Uh, I can show off shine. Like, really, you just throw it, it does like a a little bit of damage, but mostly it's just for the stun. So, you can use it to just like stun lock. Um, many bosses. I don't know how well it works on. I don't think it works too good on a uh, regular bosses. So that one, see, so summoned them around them in a circle. So you did like this AOE, like ground slash. Oh, you would. Some of his attacks can be pretty quick, so trying to dodge them. It's a little, uh. A little dicey. I'm gonna use a just because it'll probably just sit right here. Oh, he would move. Oh, he's went to a bird. It's a bird. He can uh, block. I know you couldn't couldn't really tell right there if he was blocking. So. Oh, the fire attack. I forgot he even did that. He like never does that move. But yeah, he just summons like some fireballs. And it's just like, why? Summon the big white thing again. Alright. Do some ice shots. Uh oh. He juked me. He juked my ice shot. Ice shot that time. Fire attack. Go away. Alright, he's almost dead. Alright, cool. Got a bunch of EXP. Got a small key. Get these seeds. Come over here. Alright, get this pepper. Unlock this chest with this key. Battle time. Even these undead guys come and fighting over this money. I'm just like, for what? You can't spend this shit. I mean, there is a shop here, but I mean, what are you gonna do with that stuff? Let's go ahead and just kill this guy. I 
guess not. It's another room. I'm pretty sure like the secret room's in one of those like really really dark rooms. That's all right. I'll look at my notes later. Uh, let's see. Let's go hit up Mori real quick. Uh, let's see. This is a four-star fight. All right. We'll hit up Mori real quick. We'll uh, eat some food and uh. Level up a bit. Because we got a couple of uh, fights left. But hopefully they won't uh, won't take too long. Alright, roasted shrimp. All this other shit. Alright, apple pie. As you can see, like, these, uh, like, I don't know, last chapter uh, foods give a buttload of XP. Like, I'm getting 14,500 XP plus another 10,000 bonus. But all of the the later ones require these uh, ingredients that you don't get until like, you know you get to this point in the game. So I leveled twice off of that. Um, can I do herb roaster shrimp? Oh, I don't have any more of the uh, the plant. All right, well we can, we can do this real quick then. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna plant this. Uh, how many does it take for that? 40. These folks on. It's not enough, but I mean, whatever. That should be enough? I'm thinking that should be enough. No? I need like. No? There. Okay, I was off by like one. One or two. Alright, there you go. Alright, now we can come back over here to Mori. Get the shrimp. Alright, cool. Now this one gives us 20,000 base plus another 10,000 for uh, the bonus. So, do we level up twice again? No, just level up once. Almost twice though. I mean, we're, we're like right there for leveling up. Alright, anyway. Let's keep going. Battle time. Alright, they're the Lady Ghosts. So, the Lady Ghosts, they have like these crazy, crazy legs attacks that they do. just want to make sure we don't take too much damage from them. We definitely don't want to get like that like, sandwich between two of them because that's that's the worst. So the ghost uh, ladies are also like a part of the category of like, hey, I'm like in the the dark or whatever. You can't you can't hit me. So like until they get like real, or look like a skeleton, then when they're in like that kind of blue form. Uh, you can't do anything to them. So, you gotta get them, get them in the light, or use like a shine. Oh my goodness, really? I thought I blocked it. I was over square. Sorry. Another one. Plus a couple of them. Try to kill these dudes. Wait. See, when they're blue like that, I can't do anything to them. When they turn like that, I can uh, hit them. Alright, um, let's. Nice shot. Alright, is that it? Is it? Cool. Damn, it was three points off in the S? Come on, game. Could've given him three points, mate. Could've just given him three points. Alright. So over here. Oh, uh, we got some story. Blah, blah, blah. See some money. I'll bet there's anything over there. Alright, let's continue on. Uh, 
rest area right here. We're gonna use this checkpoint to go here. Then we're gonna go in this room here and get the skill. That was a challenge room. Uh, all right, we'll be back for that. So we're gonna come through here. I'm actually just gonna like forego the challenge room for right now, and we'll do that uh, next time when we go and fight the boss. I'm gonna come through here, get that last area down there, and uh, get to the boss. And then after that, because I still need to go and. I eat some more food and stuff. Level up a bit. I don't even know what, like, who you, who you fight in that challenge room. Because we already fought both uh, the bosses, so. I don't know. Alright. Oh, come on. Help me. Stop blocking Mr. Skeleton. You know your arms can't keep up with that. Too old for that shit, man. Body ain't what it used to be. Do it. Alright, can you kill him? Alright, so did everybody fancy everybody. Yeah, there we go. Alright, cool. So now we're gonna do this. It's a butterfly. We'll take. Alright, what level does a woman to be for the boss? Like 48? I think it's 48. 48, yeah. Alright, so. Let's see, I'm gonna get this. Next time, I'm gonna meet you guys either over here at this place to go in to fight this trial room, or wherever the secret uh, skill is, and we'll do that next. But I mean, next time we're going to get, get all that anyway. We're going to do the secret skill, we're going to fight the trial area, and we're going to fight the boss. And then watch, like, the ending uh, cutscene and all that stuff for Gwen mode. So, yeah, next time we'll got, got a lot to get done, but we'll do that, and off-screen I'm going to, like, eat some food and stuff and try and level up and see what else we do. Because, like I said, I want to be 50 by the time this is done. I mean, at the very least, I want to be 49. So, we'll, we'll see. But next time, that's what we'll do. So, until then... See you then.